In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the materials I use to pass the Cloud Digital Leader exam from Google Cloud. This exam is pretty different to some of the other uh, foundational exams, it's a little bit harder. There's four main uh, areas. One is digital transformation with Google Cloud, innovating with data with Google Cloud, infrastructure and application modernization, and cloud security and operations. Infrastructure and application modernization is quite an important part of this and a place where most people get tripped up. So I got free Udemy at work. So I started off my study with this course. So it's in 28, uh, GCP for beginners. And it's the most popular course in Udemy. And I think it was good to kind of bring a little bit of foundation. But if I had it back again, I think this course, it's not a waste of time, but I feel like the content's a bit dated. And um, there's no practice exams, which I think is the most important thing. And if you're looking for a quick summary and you're looking for um, kind of orientation before you go in depth, I don't think this is the best course to do. What I do recommend is starting off your study with the Google Cloud Skills Boost. And I don't normally like this Google Cloud Skills Boost, but it's really good for this exam, especially this infrastructure and application modernization with Google Cloud. I think about 20% of my questions I answered because I did this um, Google Cloud Skill Boost course. And it was recommended on one of the other courses I did, which I'll come on to later. So while looking for practice exams, I bought Wiz Labs. I went and did the Wiz Labs practice exams. I think their content, it's a little bit better than the Udemy content. And the practice exams are okay, but they're it's really not the best. Like I'd say this is a step up on Udemy, but I wouldn't recommend this particular course. And that's mainly down to the practice questions. They give you two practice tests, which I don't think is enough. And the questions weren't really what came up on the exam. They're kind of similar, but not really there. What I would really recommend is Exam Pro's course, uh, Google Cloud Digital Leader. This course is amazing, really good, uh, really good in depth into each topic. You kind of focus on specific topics. There's quizzes, there's flashcards, there's notes. And like starting off in this course is gonna get you, I'd say 90% of the way there. Do a little bit of cloud boost afterwards or before. And I think you have a much better chance of passing the exam than doing the other two courses. And I think this course has just so much more in it. Um, really in-depth videos in each topic. Then we've got flashcards, which I found really useful. So I was like, anything I had to work on, um, I'd save these flashcards. Um, and then the cheat sheets are amazing as well. I would have looked at these right before I did the exam. And the long form notes are really, really good as well. I think the examples and look inside what's actually going on in GCP and some of the pictures, like you know that a lot, a lot of time went into this. Um, and it's just, it's just really good. And I think this is the reason I passed the exam. And probably the two best parts of this is questions from people who have just taken the exam, which will show you kind of what's coming up that week. And then the um, practice exams are brilliant. You can do random practice exams and they're really like the real thing. Um, and you can write, write notes, you can flag certain questions. And the questions are all in this format on the Google Cloud exam. It's, it's all in the context of someone's doing something, what should they use or what it, uh, represents what we're talking about here. And I, what I found really useful is flagging questions in the exam and come back to them later to review them afterwards. So there are just a few tips on how I found the exam. Hope you found it useful and best of luck on your Cloud Digital Leader exam.